My name is Grian, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. As you can see, ow, I have done a lot of excavating. You might not even be able to work out where I am. Well, this all used to be underwater, and this is my double glazed coral reef. And I'm really surprised at how well you can see through this. It looks absolutely brilliant. It's very messy on the inside. That's where it used to be, along there. The floor used to be there. If we go outside, which the only way out at the moment is to fly, but I'm going to fix that a bit later on. You can see that not a lot has changed, to be honest, from this angle. It's mainly this bottom layer, which now encompasses this whole thing. And I'm just really happy with how everything's going. It's almost time to work on the final layer of this, and I think I have a pretty good idea. Once that final layer is done, I can then start kitting out what I want to put in each one of these layers. I have some pretty cool ideas. But before we get into working on the base a bit more, I need to go over to the shopping district. What did I do to deserve that? Oh, he's come! Oh my goodness, it is pandemonium right now. Oh my goodness, look how many skeleton horses. Jack Skelebo, you're back. Oh, this is, oh, this is madness. There's a thunderstorm going on and it is, it's just all going down. Cub and Scar are here. At least I'm gonna get my skeleton back. Oh no, this is bad. At least you could do this. You could charge at them with great speed. What just happened? Chaos. Chaos. Uh, I want so, me those Skelebone horses. Yeah, I mm. want one as well. There's three over here, there's one behind Scar us. Scar has already sort of killed two, and I don't think I can ever forgive him. Those uh, were vicious creatures that were out to kill me, and I don't regret a minute. But I also want one myself. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna fly over. No, because then we, we can't fly forever. I haven't even showed it off yet. Look how you could go for- you could go infinitely, and you can go really fast. Yeah, Look at the can, yeah. distance I'm covering here. You can't That's sleep insane. this. You can't sleep through this. See, Cub? I... Yeah, it's pretty great. It's pretty great. You don't have to use any rockets. Oh! Oh! There oh, I go. hit false's shop. Dang it. Oh, oh dude, oh. I'm in the mining district. <laughs> oh, man. Get it. Uh, oh, thanks. The Jeez. skeleton is dying on its own. This one's my horse. This is my horse. You are mine. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> this has gone very well, guys. This has gone very well. I went the same. Why am I such an idiot? That skeleton suffocated in a wall, so I hopped on the same horse that killed the ske- Oh my god. Hey, guys, I have an idea. Maybe we should sleep. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I am such a fool. I'm uh, such an unbelievable fool. I can't believe I did that. Okay, guys, since we are all in this pandemonium together, Mm -hmm. Should we sell the leftover horses? We keep the ones for us and we sell the leftovers. Yep. Everyone wants to be like a undead submarine in the water. You got a skeleton horse head, man. Nice. Wow, now that's rare because they're, they're a rare drop on any mob. All right, I'm <laughs> going to claim this Skelebone horse for me. Haha! -ha! Yeah, uh... Revived! Once more. So how do you kill the, uh, the skeleton on the horse? With because I killed the accuracy. horse every time. Yeah, I know. Great accuracy. Watch this. You ready? Yep. Oh. Oh no, he fires back. Scar, do something. Scar, <laughs> no, do something. No, I, I don't have any. I don't have any weapons. Oh, I hit the. Oh, we need cub for this. Oh, I did it. I did Coming. it. Oh my god. I I need that head. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's your trident. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna give me the skull. That's easily well, well, the best. Okay, skull. okay, okay. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Those are mine. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. I'll, I mean, I'll... We might be able to come to some I mean, kind of arrangement. Yeah, there's a bu mean... like buckets, uh, salmon. Ooh, I do like buckets. Ooh, salmon. <laughs> there's a lot of protein. Flesh, right there. Coal. No, I could cook my uh, salmon. Come on, man. You can make something with all that. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. The coal God. wasn't. The Who coal? hit the horse? Oh, no. Oh! My what? bad. My bad. I swear there was like eight spawned. Did we. No, there's one over here. We, we, we have got some. Oh! Yeah, yeah, there's, there's four more now. Oh, nice. <laughs> I totally <laughs> fell for the thing. I, fell, I totally fell for it. Alright. I, I, I can snipe from a distance. I'm pretty good. Can I use the trident, maybe? Oh, look at that. First time. One down. Oh! Oh, come on! 
I'll just stand here. No, don't throw it. Don't scar. Don't you dare. <laughs> just leave. Let him do it. There we go. Three down. There we go. All right. Three more. Three more. He, he threw his trident just as I hit it. So his trident killed the skeleton, and then my bow. Oh man. Yeah, it was sad. Jeez. There were tears, but we're, we're over it now. We got three to sell. Yeah. Twenty diamonds a piece. What do you think? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're becoming skeleton submarines, right? <laughs> yep. Let's right, do it. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Dive, dive, dive. Wait, what in the world? He kicked me off again. He's <laughs> always running. He doesn't want to go in the water. He doesn't want to go. None of us have this problem, Scar. Jeez, man. Get back here, man. Are you pressing, sh you're pressing shift to go down in the water, aren't you? Well, how else are you supposed to go down? You just, you just let me sink because that's you dismant uh, dismounting it. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, there's a ravine here. Ooh, that's fancy. That's a problem though. If you go down, there's no coming up. <laughs> Sky's already committed to no. it. He's already committed to I'm it. I'm going back. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh. No. Guys. To the bottom of Davy Jones' locker. Please, I need a rope. Give me that skull and I'll help you up. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I don't know how to Look, jump. I'll right. make you a way out. Look, I'll make you a way out. I need oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Oh, I'm up. Wait up. Oh, oh, what, my no. oh, no. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Why did my uh, guy just... My horse just decided to leave. Why did my horse more. decide to go in the same ravine? Honestly, like, I just got off for a second. I turn around and he's, like, knee-deep in there. There we go, I'm out. Okay. Woo. Okay, we're out. I see out. Green. Green has made it. <laughs> Scar has lost at sea, though. <laughs> Scar has <is> definitely <laughs> lost at sea. Something's gone way wrong here. Yeah, you probably need to re -log. I see you. I see you right here on the Wait, stand. Wait, what? Scar? What? Phantom Scar? Phantom you, Scar? Hello? You saw no, that too, Cub. You saw that too. We're not yeah. going crazy, right? Yeah. Very I'm here, guys. <sighs> that oh, was the real bizarre. Scar. That was weird. How are we going to make money? <laughs> Let's make a, a stable for these guys. We're going to sell the excess horses, right? And we've got mm -hmm. a pretty decent spot mm -hmm. picked out. So we've got all our horses here, and we're going to make a little stable here. And we're not going to spend too much time on it, because as soon as these horses are gone, that's it. What do you reckon? How yeah. much do we sell these for? I'm thinking about 32, because, you know, you just cut a stack of diamonds. You just cut that thing off. It's perfect. 32. You have a big stack. You just cut it up. I say 32. Yeah, let's see if they sell. Also, I, well, what if we also give them really, like, punny names? so that they sell better, so like people can peruse which pun they think is the best. Ooh, I yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Good, yeah. How Have you I got any Podzel? If we, we could put Podzel in it, make... Wait, actually, it doesn't really make sense because they don't... Well, they're eating. Why do they even eat if they're skeleton horses? I mean, these are the questions we need to keep asking Jeb. Why can they suffocate? Why do they eat? They've got they've got <laughs> none of these functions. Well, that's the roof kind of done. Uh, I need to put a bit more on this side, and then I think we'll be done. Looks like we're all finished. Shall I explain the deal then? How this is all going to pan out? We've got, Indeed. We've got a little Indeed. wager. So we managed to secure three horses. We're going to take three of ours home. I've decided to call mine Jack Skelebone, named after the original Jack Skelebone that perished. May he forever mm. rest in pieces. And nice. Tragic. You've decided to call Concorp, yours. I got the Concorp Cavalry horse. Right. Calling and the Cavalry a Concorp. Scar, what have you called? You haven't, you haven't named yours. No, my personal horse does not have a name. I need suggestions because I outdid myself with my horse for sale. I all feel right. like I used up all my naming uh, points. So the other three, we've decided that we're going to have a little wager. We're going to try and sell all of these, and they cost 32 diamonds. I think it's a little bit high, but they say it's fine, so mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. each of them have a name that we have given them. Uh, I won't say who, who named what, or maybe we should. Maybe we shouldn't stand next to the horses we chose. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a yeah. dead giveaway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, because this one over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah all right. This one, this one, I, yeah. I named mine Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> and um, Skeletor. Skeletor, of course. Skeletor and, and Scar. They call me T Bone. <laughs> they call me T Bone. So we decided whoever has whoever sells the first horse because realistically they're going to look at all of the puns first right and they're going to make their decision based on the pun there's mm -hmm. a little secret mm -hmm. chest behind here that has the skeleton head horse that everybody chest. wants plus three diamonds so there's there's real reason to want to win this so the pun mm -hmm. battle is on and mm. whoever sells the first horse claims the prize all right <sighs> 
Well, we'll leave it at that then, boys. Let's let's call it quits. Oh, I'm so happy that I have a, a horse back. I was so devastated the first time. Please don't kill it this time. We'll have to get Ren to yeah. watch you. The I'm, Hermit's yeah. an environmental <laughs> agency of documentary old films. I promise to look after this one. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time. All right, safe travels, right. safe travels. See you, dudes. Is anybody getting a bit of deja vu? Let's bring him back, and now we know exactly how to handle this. So let's get him back to the base. The only way we know how. Underwater Skelebone Machine. Now that we know he's not gonna drown, we don't have to worry so much. Hey look, there's, there's even the entrance that I made before. Okay, we're not gonna mess this up. Oh, you can see the reef room in here. Not as well for as the inside, but it still looks decent. Still gotta wait for me to sink. Now, if I'm not much mistaken, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this the safe way. I'm not even gonna be I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna bring them anywhere near those bubbles. We're gonna go up the normal safe way. Come along, Jack Skelebone. That's where your brother died. We're not gonna go there. We're gonna go up the stairway to heaven! Ah, we made it! Oh, it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, we can. Uh, well, now that I've actually got him here, there's not a lot I can do with him, but it's brilliant. He's he's my eternal friend. He's gonna roam around here forever, and we're gonna be best friends. So the first thing that I need to do is work out how to get up and down, and I think I've done that with a couple of tubes with a water elevator. I think that's by far gonna be the easiest way. And I think we need to clear this out. Now, the reason I've only done just over half is because I've got a farm to take care of here. I don't really want to move it just yet. Although, having said that, I have got a huge amount of carrots and potatoes. Yeah, I think we could probably move this. This should keep me going for a really long time. So, this was only temporary. We can move it. We can remove it for now, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, that was... Oh, I, that was a silly. Now all my torches are gone. And we are pretty much clean. Now, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is probably the most dull thing I've ever done in Minecraft ever. Because what it... To clear this out, this used to be all underwater. The, the water line is actually out here, so all of this is, strictly speaking, underwater. And to get rid of it, what you have to do is make these little pools of sand. So you've got to make a 3x3 three three made out of sand. And that means placing sand over and over again to create these walls all the way up the side, like so. When you've done that, you then need to remove this and you've got some water in the middle. Then you hop in with the sponge and you start draining it out. Once you've cleared it of water, you then gotta take your torches and get rid of all the sand that you just created. Collect it all up, and then you do the same all over again. So as you can tell, clearing out this area took me a really long time, and I've still got a little bit left to do, but once that's done, this area is gonna make a really cool, like, interior aquarium type thing, and also what I've done is I've created a semi-automatic concrete dispenser. So this is how I'm gonna get white concrete faster, so I've made a temporary one there, I used a cub fans tutorial, so that's pretty cool. And now I'm just working on a way to get up and down from here, but I also want to make it so that it's not too intrusive. I want it to kind of blend in, which is why it's all made of glass at the moment. The only way in and out of this aquarium at the moment is through this little hole. Uh, but I think since this is here permanently, I'm going to add Paul in here and I'm going to add Codswallop in here so that they're free to float about forever. Uh, brilliant. So only some of these are named, like this guy here, he's not named. He's not named at all, he's just a salmon. But if you go over here, you'll see two tropical fish. Now, tropical fish do not spawn in this biome, so you can tell that I went out of my way to get these guys. And they are called Fish, and I am a fish. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do here is put in some water, take some kelp, go all the way down, and we need to make these all source blocks, and the easiest way to do that is with kelp. Once it's all full, we can then go down the bottom and remove the bottom lot. 
And it should create the bubbles we need to get up. Excellent. And there we have our first bubble column up. Woo! And the other side. Remove these. And we have the right... Uh, that's not enough. That's not enough. That's not enough. Might want to put that one block up. And we have a double column system. I could have made this all redstone, but... I don't know, the, the two columns there seems to work. I probably should do this on all four of these entrances, but since this is all a work in progress, I'm just gonna stick to this one for now. This is really starting to look like a villain's secret lair, isn't it? This doesn't look like the hero's base. <laughs> Excellent, this works perfectly. Oh, Jack Skellabone, we can wander around our villainous base together forever. Mumbo was asking for some cobble, so Broham to the rescue with two shulker boxes full of cobble. Hey, Mumbo. Here he is. He hasn't even noticed me yet. Hello? Oh, hello? There we go. Two shulker boxes full of cobblestone. Ah, oh, no, no need. You can, you can pay me in bro points later. <laughs> oh, I'm getting so good at flying out of his base now. It's so satisfying. This looks really cool. I can't wait to see this bit complete. Now, I don't know whether he's going to keep these pixel arts around his base. I personally wouldn't, but they are so high quality. Maybe he'll just keep them around until they're in the way. Delivering cobble and making water elevators isn't what I planned on doing today at all. I got very much distracted by the pandemonium lightning thing that went on and I got even more distracted by the fact that we got skeleton horses. It's good to have you back, Jack Skelebone. What we're actually gonna do today is get ourselves a beacon. I went and collected three wither skulls. I had very bad luck on my first ta try trying to get these. It took three hours and I got none. And then I went and used the farm and I got three skulls in 20 minutes. So I guess that's just the way it crumbles. Actually, I'm gonna need some soul sand. Ah, I moved my nether portal. I bet it's not linked up properly anymore. Oh dear. What? What the heck? <laughs> it's definitely not linked up anymore. What the heck? <laughs> it spawned one in the middle of the air? Oh well, I guess that's free obsidian, but... <laughs> I need to link this up better, because that's not the right place. What we're going to do is we're going to go down, and we're going to make ourselves a little cavern at bedrock to take care of this. Oh, what do you know? Hello, diamonds. I'll be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to have to spawn it and give it a go, I think. I'm kind of scared. I don't really want to do this, but I got to. I'm sure if I die, someone will help me, right? Uh, there we go. Bows at the ready, boys. Bows at the ready. <laughs> it's terrifying. Where is he? Oh, he's up there. Ah. I need to just keep going for him. Uh, he's, got, he's, he's encroaching on me. Come on. There we go. Come on. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. We're getting them. We're getting there. Keep going. Three. And last one. Come on. There we go. Oh my goodness. That wasn't enjoyable. That wasn't enjoyable at all. But I'm quite proud of myself for doing it first time. Didn't need any help or anything. I was so confident, in fact, I did it with 10 diamonds on me. And look at all this free cobble. Wait a minute. I got a, I got a wither play ahead. <laughs> oh, this has got to be rare, right? Unless everyone gets them, in which case, oops. But I haven't seen anyone with this. This is awesome. I am Grian, king of the wither. And here we go. We need three obsidian, glass, and the nether star. Bum, 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 bum. We got a beacon. I think I need to spend a little time figuring out all this junk in my base because there is so much rubbish here. Now, I actually went and salvaged all of the uh, blocks of iron that were on top of the pickle jar because, yeah, I realized that that was a stupid thing and now I can use this for a beacon. But I don't actually know where a good idea to put the beacon is. Maybe directly under my base? Just for the, the sake of it? Maybe? I don't really know. Maybe we'll leave that for another time. But for now, I think we've done a huge amount of work. We got Jack Skellabone back. We have got ourselves loads of progress in the base. We've got ourselves a water elevator. 
We've got a really nice coral reef aquarium around the edge. Admittedly, we've only got a handful of fish in there, but I'm sure that'll change over time. We have a really messy base with all of this stuff just strewn around everywhere. I really gotta sort this. Like, each one has just junk everywhere. I'm sure if I organize this, I actually have a decent amount of things. But look at... Uh, it's, it, the unorganization of this is really starting to hurt. So I, I need some sort of system. Maybe this layer here can be my storage area where I keep things. And then up there are more of the mechanical farmy type things. Who knows? But this is going really, really well and I'm very happy with it. And I think for next episode, I'm going to work on the rest of the base. And before we sign off this episode... I want to go and check if anyone has bought the skeleton horses because they've been up for sale for over a day now and maybe, just maybe, someone spent the money on them. And all three are still here. All three are still here. No change. So as soon as somebody buys one of these horses, they get the prize inside. Alright, that's it from me, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hermitcraft, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mumbo Jumbo, you are AFK. I'm gonna take that mustache away. Mumbo, 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 AFK. I'm gonna take that mustache away. Soon.